My first impressions of the huddle were actually, I would say, it's, it seems like an adult playground. It's very intellectually stimulating. Uh, I'm a teacher, so if I could run my classroom similar to this, having different sections, it just seems very engaging. I still haven't taken it all in yet, so I'm going to walk around and take a little tour and try to get as much as I can. Because I'd probably say I learned as much as I did in any event I've ever attended. It's, just, it's very cool. It's very diverse. I'm not sure what I'm looking at half the time until I kind of experience it. So it's definitely a very cool experience. I do have to say there was a meditation section. I mean, the Spotify section where you could live a fairy tale was pretty cool. I mean, anybody who's willing to dress up as a wicked witch to, to help engage adults and kind of return them to some nostalgic fairy tale moments is pretty cool. But I mean, just everything's visually engaging. I haven't had time to kind of dive into all of them yet. I think I need another day or two to do that. But it's, I mean, from everything from the polar bear to, to Spotify's Living Your Fairy Tales to the meditation section, it was, I mean, all really cool and very diverse stuff. I think there's a little something for everyone. Okay, my session, uh, I'm a high school teacher, and I use music a lot to obviously engage students and empower students. So my session was basically to show people how music is a universal language, how we all have playlists of our life, we all have soundtracks of our life, and how we can use that as a tool to not only empower, but to teach empathy, to educate, to entertain, and, and just to kind of connect people on different levels and make people think about their own lives.